Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today we're taking a look at the PS4 and the PS Vita, which allows you to do remote play. You can play your PlayStation games on the 5-inch screen of the PS Vita. And you can do that locally as well as on the go if you have a strong enough connection all throughout. So we're going to show you how to set that up real quick. You need to go to your PlayStation 4, go to Settings, and then scroll down until you see PS Vita connection settings. Make sure that remote play is checked. It was checked by default on ours. Uh, the next thing you need to do is on the PS Vita, when you're connected to a network, you'll look for this PS4 link and tap on that screen. And while you have that up, we'll start that and we'll choose what we want to do. You can use it as a second screen or as remote play. So we're going to tap on remote play. It's going to tell us we need to enter a code. So we're going to go down here to add device and we'll tap in the code on our PS Vita. And register it. And that will link our console to the device here. And so it's going to check our connection, see how everything's going on the actual PS Vita here. And so you'll need a good internet connection on both devices. So we've moved, we have a better connection. We're right next to our router actually. We're gonna go on remote play. And you can set it up so that the PS Vita will connect directly to the PS4. If you're on if you're within reach, they can connect like via its own internet connection. Although with that, you won't be able to play when you're outside of the house. Um, in this way. We can, we're connecting to our Wi-Fi network, which is then connecting to the device. So here we're loading up Assassin's Creed 4. This is the version that is on the PlayStation 4. It's not a PS Vita game, and it should load up, and we'll be able to basically pick up where we left off playing Assassin's Creed. And while you're using this, you don't have access to all of the same buttons. So you actually use this touchpad on the back of the device to do some, uh, some of your controls. So here we are in Assassin's Creed and we're able to look around, we're able to steer this ship, and we can basically play the game. It's a little bit more difficult than using the full controller, but some games will work better than others. That's how you set it up. Uh, here we're on the same home Wi-Fi network, so we are basically connecting over the best conditions possible. I can play this in a room where I'm not in the same room as my PS4. We'll be trying this out over an LTE connection. There's no built-in LTE on the PS Vita, but what we're hoping to do is tether this to an iPhone 5S or a Nexus 5 on AT&T or Verizon and see how this handles while you're truly mobile. Head over to GottaBeMobile.com to check out more about the PlayStation 4 and the mobile aspect with the PS Vita.